God is still saying something. This is the prophetic revelation that Prophet T.B. Joshua received from God on Saturday the 5th of September 2009 and delivered to the congregation and viewers worldwide during the live service on Sunday the 6th of September 2009 at 8 a.m., just hours before the match began at 5 p.m. Emmanuel, my name is Ruth, reporting for Emmanuel TV. On Sunday the 6th of September 2009, Prophet T.B. Joshua explained in parables the vision he had received from God the previous day concerning the upcoming World Cup qualifying match between Nigeria and Tunisia, which was to take place that Sunday, the 6th of September, 2009. Let us listen to what he said. Yesterday, I keep hearing football, football, football. I say, God, what is this football is all about? I say, what this football is all about, and the Lord showed me everything from beginning to the end. <laughs> it come to a stage that the whole team was even the host of heaven were the one playing football. <laughs> because the whole team was tough. So the both side, nobody play ball again. But who are these people playing football? I could not see any players again because it was tough to decide. So the both side that were playing football, it got to stay. The whole thing was just here is Balam, here is Balam, but decision. What is decision? It's like did both sides leave the field. They could not take the situation who is, who is the most powerful among the two. So it got to say, okay, go and sit down, go and sit down. I will not say more than that. Several hours later, Nigeria and Tunisia met at the national stadium in Abuja for the crucial qualifying match, playing to a capacity crowd of 60,000 people. In a closely fought contest, which saw Nigeria take the lead on two occasions, Tunisia grabbed an equaliser in the final minutes of the second half to seal a 2-2 draw. The result dealt a severe blow to Nigeria's World Cup dreams, with Tunisia taking a commanding position in their qualifying group. Let's watch some key moments from the tough encounter. The Tunisians are really trying to pack the Eagles on the counter. We saw that cross from Ben Sara Chiduki. Just got quickly cut off. It's Nigerian side now moving with uh, Osaze. He is in the box and this may be it. It's the first goal for Nigeria. Osaze Adewingi has opened scoring for Nigeria. One goal to Nigeria. Osaze Adewingi putting his name on the score sheet here in the 23rd minute of the match. He had enough time to look up and decide where to put the ball. And in the space of a minute, Tunisia are back in contention. It's 1-1 one, one, and Umberto Coelho is, is just overjoyed. There you have it. It's one goal apiece. It's full time in the game between Togo and Morocco, and that, that game ended one all. one all. Morocco managed to get uh, an equalizer in that game, but for Ghana, it's still 1 0 in favor of uh, the Black Stars, Sule Muntari's goal, uh, which we told you about earlier. Akwan Williams, similar to the end really, of this game, really. Mm, the Togolese had really uh, well, put much hope in the rising form of Emmanuel Adebayo of Manchester City now. Good pass, and then off. Second goal for Nigeria. It's a second goal for Nigeria. Beautiful work from the Eagles. Michael and Ramo justifying his inclusion in this. Tossing water onto the pitch. And Ramo putting the ball in the back of the net, really. 2 1 Nigeria, Tunisia. Daudi. The Tunisians are in a dangerous spot and it's in the ball net. 2 all. 
The Tunisians have a second goal. 2-2. Two, two. Nigeria 2, Tunisia 2. That's number 10, Sheikh Daragi. And he had, his, he had the time. He could pick his spot. And he did. Put the ball in the, in the roof of the net. Two goals to Nigeria. Two goals to Tunisia. Humberto Coelho, overjoyed, screaming. In the 45th minute of the second half. Two goals to Nigeria. Two goals to Tunisia. Recall the words of Prophet TB Joshua spoken hours before the two teams met. So, the both side that were playing football, it got to stay. The whole team was just, here is Balaam, here is Balaam. But decision, what is decision? It's like did both sides leave the field. They could not take decision who is, who is the most powerful among the two. So it got to say, okay, go and sit down, go and sit down. I will not say more than that. Just as Prophet TB Joshua said, the match was truly balanced, neither side with a clear advantage throughout the game, which eventually ended in a two-all stalemate. Osaze Odewinge opened the scoring for Nigeria in the 24th minute, but Tunisia responded immediately with a brilliant strike from Sliti Nabo less than a minute later to level the scores. With both sides coming close on numerous occasions, Nigeria were next on the score sheet in the 84th minute, as Esperance striker Michael Ineramo latched onto a low cross and hit the ball home. Nigerian fans celebrated wildly, believing they had clinched the winner, only for Osama Daragi to cut short their joy with a last minute equaliser to earn Tunisia a hard-fought tie. Truly, as Prophet TB Joshua said, it was a tough game. It come to a stage that the whole team was even the host of heaven were the one playing football. Because the whole team was tough. So the both side, nobody play ball again. But who are these people playing football? I could not see any players again because it was tough to decide. BBC Sport reported, Nigeria suffered a huge blow in their bid to take over the top position in Group B after a 2-2 stalemate against Tunisia in Abuja. Peter Odewinge opened the scoring for the Super Eagles halfway through the first half, but Nabil Teda struck one at the other end for the North Africans almost immediately afterwards. With 10 minutes to go, it seemed victory was within the host's grasp when Michael Inaromo scored. It was the most cruel of finishes for Nigeria as Osama Daragi put the ball in the back of the net with a mere minute to go. The result leaves Nigeria second in Group B with seven points. Tunisia remained top with two points more. We thank God for the revelation, reminding us that we are truly under his eyes. Let us remember that we are who, where, and what we are by the grace of God. Therefore, we must be conscious of his will in every situation. If any man glories, let him not glory in himself, but in the Lord. To witness the power of prophecy, join us every Sunday for our live service on Emmanuel TV at 9 a.m. West Africa time, 10 a.m. Central Africa time, 3 p.m. Indochina time, 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, 12 a.m. Pacific Time, and 3 a.m. USA Eastern Standard Time. Stay blessed, keep watching Emmanuel TV, and remember, God is still saying something.